I hope to offer some encouragement regarding aging and fitness and how I don't believe that aging should be a factor in deciding what you can or cannot do. I've had clients, many clients over the years, and I'm interested to know what their age is just to kind of get a paint a picture of of uh, what they've how far they've come in their journey and um, what they've done and and just to kind of as one of the pieces that I'm filling out as I get to under uh, understand who they are and what they've done in their life but to me it doesn't really matter what their age is you know whether they're 40 or 65 or 80 um, all I want to know is what can you do right now? What is your ability right now um, regarding strength, uh, fitness, flexibility, uh, whatever the goals are? Um, where are you right now so that we can establish that as the baseline and then measure our progress moving forward um, from that baseline? So if, if you're struggling to get up from the couch to go to the restroom, um, but you can do it, and maybe you've got some balance issues, that's your baseline. And we're going to start there. And we're going to see if we can start a routine that challenges that, that pushes um, forward in that, um, and also allows for recovery. So... I think a lot of people just assume, well, I'm this age, so this whatever thing is normal, this new ache or pain or um, inability or um, I should not do this sport anymore or whatever, when age, the number that you're at, has nothing to do with it. It's, it's only ability. And maybe you can't do something right now, but it doesn't mean that if you worked your way back to it that you could not do it in the future. I grew up um, as a child uh, from as early as I can remember, like around three years old, um, knowing that I had fatigue issues. And I, all through my childhood and teens and early 20s, I had extreme fatigue and inability to build muscle. I would wake up in my teens uh, in the morning and I'd be at 50 or 60% energy. I could feel my energy tank about 50 or 60%. I could feel it dropping through the day. And it was a scary feeling because it wasn't like my muscles were getting sore and I had to push through or whatever. It was actually the strength to move that was draining away through each day. And... If I worked, worked out, if I did a workout routine that I had researched and come up with for myself, I would get weaker and smaller. And it wasn't until I was uh, 22, 23 that I found out that I had hypothyroid, hypoadrenia, and Epstein-Barr virus, all stress-related issues um, from the the stress, stressful environment that um, I grew up in. And so as a kid and as a teen, I was thinking, wow, so I'm supposed to be in my prime, you know, I'm supposed to be in my, my energy, energetic um, prime of life and it's supposed to get worse from here. So what's the rest of my life going to be like? And it was, it was really scary. But I was determined not to settle for that, not to just assume that that was going to be the case. And so I kept trying different things. I kept researching. I kept going to different specialists. And um, through various things, I have started gaining uh, muscle um, and energy and strength from 23 to 27. And then 27, I found... Leah that did uh, nutrition response testing. Uh, she's in Corvallis, Dr. Nancy Lack. And um, in two months, my adrenals were better. And in five months, my thyroid was better. 
And for the first time in my life, I experienced a normal amount of energy. And so that was almost, that was, yeah, almost 11 years ago this summer. And I am determined to always be in tune with my body and always be trying new things and always be pushing the limits and switching things up and seeing what I can do. And, and even just recreationally, I've learned uh, new sports and um, pursued um, emotional and internal healing so I can enjoy those sports. And, um, but also just working on coordination and uh, practicing the skills and increasing strength and flexibility and and um, yeah, I've tried um, adult ballet over the years and, and all this stuff. Um, but my goal for, for every person is to, to never assume that they've reached an age that they can not do something, but to always question the possibility. Like, I wonder if, what would it take to be able to do this thing again, whatever it is that you might enjoy again, because life is about joy. And if you've decided that you're too old, uh, or if you've decided that um, you've, you're past your prime, then you are, uh, because your, your body and your mind believes what you um, say to it and what you, ch what you decide about that. Um, if you are I'm just looking at my notes here. So your, your cells are constantly being replaced in your body. Um, skin cells are fully replaced about every two weeks. Uh, bones um, every seven years or so. And all the tissue in the body, uh, somewhere between the two weeks and seven years, more around a few months, are being replaced. So your cells are not as old as you are. <laughs> and your cells don't know how old you are. They just know how healthy they are. And so it's never too late. It's never a bad idea to start uh, getting more nutrient-dense foods into your daily uh, nutrition intake. Uh, never too late to start um, strengthening your bones and muscles, which, by the way, if you're not lifting something heavy on a regular basis and challenging your muscles, then the bone and muscle density is going down because uh, your body is economic. It's not going to maintain what it doesn't think it needs. And that's based on what you use. Um, and then cardio, um, if you're not moving, um, your um, body's ability to deliver the oxygen to all the cells in a timely manner um, goes down as well. Because again, it's economic. It's not going to maintain what you're not using. So it's never too late to begin doing those healthful things, breathing more deeply, going for walks, um, moving in ways that you enjoy, lifting heavy things uh, every once in a while, um, or playing a sport, um, uh, and then eating uh, more nutritiously. Um, and if you are starting up again after a season of not being active or not doing the things that you enjoy, don't compare yourself to what you used to do. Uh, don't compare yourself to your prime and just think, oh man, um, maybe I am too old for this. This is silly. No, don't. Uh, don't compare. Just start where you're at. Let that be the new baseline and build from there. Uh, be consistent. Uh, be steady. Just remember what your goals are, what your desires are and go after it um, with persistence and optimism. So I hope um, that you will listen to your body, listen to when you need to rest, because you actually get stronger when you rest after um, challenging your body in a workout. Um, so listen to your body, um, adjust to your needs, pursue your goals, follow your joy, um, and don't ever assume that you're too old for something.